ladies and gentlemen welcome back you lovely faces to a brand new video here on the channel today we're going to take a look at a couple of documents that were actually recently they were uploaded today to the fairfax county website which is kind of interesting because we actually thought they weren't going to be uploading anymore there but they have and uh, let's just say they're uh, they're quite good so this one by here is only four pages as you can see, Circuit Court, Fairfax County, there's any other. Plaintiff, motion to strike defendant's out-of-time supplemental memorandum in support of a post-trial motions. Plaintiff, John C. Depp, by and through his undersigned counsel, hereby moves his honourable court to strike defendant's supplemental memorandum in support of a post-trial motions, stating as follows, this is what I like by here, Defendant Hurd's filing is untimely. Pursuant to the court's direction, Ms. Hood, deadline for submitting her post-trial motions fell on July the 1st, 2022. One full month after the jury rendered its verdicts, it is undisputed that Ms. Hood did not file her supplemental memorandum until the afternoon of July the 8th, 2022. One week later and only fewer than three days before Plaintiff Depp's deadline for submitting his opposition to defendant's post-trial motions due on Monday, July the 11th, by no later than 10 a.m. True to form, defendant neither notified plaintiff of her forthcoming me, supplemental memorandum, nor sought leave of court for filing it one full week out of time, because Miss Hurd filed late and without leave of court, the court should grant plaintiff's motion to strike. This is what I like by here now. So obviously, as you can remember, Jura 15, this whole instance that's currently going on, Miss Hurd had access to the perpetrated new facts months ago. This is what I like. In a supplemental memorandum, Miss Hurd does not, because she cannot, make any pro offer as to why she could not have discovered the new facts until now. This is because the clerk's office provided the pre-panel jury list of the parties back on April 6th, 2022. Ooh more than two months ago and five days before the jury was impaneled. In a rare moment of candor, Miss Hurd admitted that she was aware of the permitted discrepancy in Jura 15's birth year from the very start of trial because Jura 15 was clearly born later than 1945. MO at, at 40, Miss Hurd therefore concedes she had more than enough time before the trial started and during the six-week trial, when at least two alternates were available to investigate and discover the alleged new facts. Clearly, Miss Hurd waived any right to allege new facts she chose not to investigate for so long, much less to demand the extraordinary remedy of a mistrial. Which is very true, because if you remember with all of this going forward, we actually saw a lot of this going on. Mostly because, well, when you think of it, and some of the shit that she has come out with, it's... I do not understand why she thought this was going to be a really, really good little idea. You know? But, oh, start with the music. Something uh, went wrong there. And when they had, literally, it was two months ago, and it was five days before the trial even started, they could have gone, yeah, that's not that person. They could have done it. So, you know, it goes on. She had uh, any fair, uh, you know... <laughs> Miss Hurd cites no unfair prejudice. Even if Miss Hurd had filed her supplemental mem memorandum in a timely manner, which she did not, and even had she not waived her right to raise this alleged issue by sitting on the information for more than two months, which she did, the court should still grant plaintiff's motion to strike defendant's supplemental memorandum because Miss Hurd failed to cite any unfair prejudice. Even assuming arduendo misheard's latest thesis, i.e. that a son served instead of his father, there would be no prejudice, as Jura 15 was qualified to serve as a juror in Fairfax County and was vetted by the court and the party's counsel, just as all of the other jurors were. Conclusion, based on the foregoing, the court should grant plaintiff's motion and struck defendant's supplemental memorandum. And obviously it goes through the, it was, you know, Camille and everyone else, and that's what we got. You know what? I absolutely love that document. It is so good. Because it does show you that, well, Amber knew what was going on. 
her team knew exactly what was going on. You know, she was probably sat there as well when uh, she, you know, she's on the stand herself now and she's looking over and she's just like, <laughs> you know, and he was probably just, you know, just sat there just listening to her as well. And obviously she's like, oh, okay. But if they knew, Surely they would have brought it up. And to be honest with you, I said this in my last uh, video, actually. And that was, if she won, they wouldn't have brought this up. 100% they wouldn't have done it. You know, we've heard uh, Elaine, when she did her, uh, her, you know, her bitch tour, as, uh, as uh, Linda is calling her, which I absolutely love. She was on... New York daytime TV shows. She was in the morning. She was on like Good Morning America and all this kind of stuff. And she was talking about it. The jurors did this. The jurors did that. And they knew, oh, the jurors, they, they broke the rules. They did everything else. Surely you would have known then, which they did. But bringing the jurors in then, because Linda was, we were speaking last night, all of us were me, Stevie, Les, Soups, Linda. And Linda brought up a fantastic uh, theory on it. If you're going to be talking about, uh, you know, Jura 15, that, you know, it's the wrong person and everything else, why would you bring up the jury in, you know, in all, in all the jury now, on the morning shows, and with Amber doing exactly the same thing? Because that is just literally wasting the card in your back pocket. And when you think of it like that, you can think, hmm. So... They knew that. They're just trying to little dig out a little bit now. We're going to get the jurors in trouble. But it didn't work that way because the jurors are probably looking at all of this now, you know, seeing uh, everything that they've said, what Elaine said on morning TV, and what Amber said on that Dateline thing as well. They're all going to be like, huh, I wish we gave you nothing. They're literally going to go against her now 100%. And... It wouldn't surprise me because, again, it'd be so funny. People have been saying it as well. What if juror number 15 was the person who said Amber should get two million? How funny would that be? It's like, oh, oh, well, well, this is it. Now, you know, because of me, you had that money. But now you're saying that I'm wrong and everything else. I wish I never gave it to you. I think that is absolutely hysterical. But I just love this document. You know, see, I have left the document link below. There is a, quite a few more on the uh, website, but the things that we've already seen in the past uh, couple of days, Law and Crime have had them up on their website a lot more uh, quicker than uh, the Fairfax uh, County uh, Courts. But again, no, California uh, Courts, the New York Courts and everything else, the documents tend to go up day and date of when they receive them. For Fairfax County, you know, Linda was saying it's a small, uh, small court. It's not going to be huge. Like, you know, you've got like 20 or 30 people working on the documents. They probably just get an entire mass of them. Right, we're going to put these on today, these on tomorrow, this next week or whatever. That's probably what's happened. But there's quite a few on there if you want to go and check them out. But yeah, you know, this is just absolutely amazing, you know, and I just love the fact that, uh, you know, Camille's team, they're all like, yeah, just strike this motion. But before we do go, is one good thing regarding this, and Linda was telling us uh, this earlier. This Friday is when, if nothing is done by this Friday, you know, if, uh, if Judge Penny doesn't respond to any of it, it's gone. It's no longer hers. It's dead. It's gone. That's it. It's the end of it. So it'll be interesting to see how they uh, proceed with this. So we are going to be looking now for Friday and see what happens then, because that is going to be the 14th. Is the 14th on Friday? I believe it is the 14th on... No, no, sorry, the 15th. 15th on Friday, and we're going to see what happens. If anything does go forward, we will let you know. If you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell for future updates, and I'll see each and every one of you soon.